Math fluency is developed through automaticity. Kids must be able to recall basic math facts both quickly and accurately. It is proven that children that are fluent in basic math facts do better on standardized tests in addition to having less anxiety and less stress with doing higher computation. You certainly can't do fractions if you don't know how to multiply. I see this all the time. Kids can't even do fractions because they're simply spending all their time sitting there doing skip counting or even drawing array models. Today I want to share with you one game that will help children become fluent with all four operations. Hey fun people, welcome back to Everything Aja. If you're new here, hi, I'm Aja. Here on Everything Aja, I help parents and teachers just like you make learning as fun, strategic, and easy as possible. If this sounds like you, then what are you waiting on? Go ahead and subscribe. Today I want to share with you one game that can be beneficial for any child learning any basic math facts. That's addition, subtraction, multiplication, and even division. And you might be thinking, one game? No way! Yes, one game, but five different ways you can actually play the game. Drum roll! The game I want to share with you is called Beat the Buzzer! Beat the Buzzer is a digital game that can be played in the classroom and even online. That means you can play with your entire class in the classroom, during small group instruction in centers, and even online during distance learning. Zoom games for the win! So the amazing thing about Beat the Buzzer is that it can be played solo dolo. This is perfect for parents. Beat the Buzzer has 10 rounds plus a bonus round with all the operational facts. Now this game is actually in video format so all you have to do is press play. Now the object of the game is to be a child that actually makes it to the end of the video. Thus, beating the buzzer. Now a child is out if they miss more than two answers per round. You can always make this more challenging and make it one. If a child gets out, they did not beat the buzzer and then they have to play again to beat their high score. This is how people can play it by themselves. The game also comes with a checklist with all the problems during each round. This way kids can actually quiz themselves and mark off which answers they've gotten correct, thus knowing which problems they've actually mastered. This is a great way to hold children accountable. Now I have the links to all five games down below in the description and of course, you can always save money if you buy them in a bundle. Now once you play the Beat the Buzzer game, let me know down below in the comments which round was your children's hardest round to beat. I can't wait to hear exactly which round trips your children up. Now I think the Beat the Buzzer game is absolutely amazing, but don't just take my word for it. This game has been shared in classrooms all around the world. It is actually my best seller. Now if you're looking for even more math games, make sure you check out this video and don't forget to like and subscribe below. See you in the next video!